Marsh Arabs have lived in the wetlands for 5,000 years. They are descendants of the Mesopotamia Sumerians, who have adapted for a life in watery lands. Their water comes from the Tigris and the Euphrates, from sources in the Taurus Mountains of eastern Turkey. At the confluence of rivers, the Shat al Arab flows to the Persian Gulf. The ancient Sumerian impulse holds. These people go where things grow. Everything depends on the reeds, which depend on the water. The reeds, or kasab, can grow as tall as seven and a half meters. The people build their homes and boats from the reeds, feed reeds to their water buffaloes, and burn the reeds as fuel. They weave mats from reeds to supplement their income. Marsh Arabs mostly eat fish and the milk of buffaloes. Some grow rice and cook flatbread over fires. It's tradition for men and women to eat apart, with all meals eaten in silence. Traditionally, it was the women's work to gather reeds and weave them into useful objects. The women cared for the buffalo and made dairy products from their milk. They transported fish, dairy and handcrafted items into city markets to sell. For the men, the day ends in the Mudif guest house with coffee and discussion. The Mudif guest houses are for ceremonies, general events, weddings and funerals. They appear in Sumerian artwork from as far back as five millennia, and the method of construction has not changed. Until recently, there were no schools near the marshes, only small scattered villages. However, that's changed, and children now come to study at the schools from the early morning till the afternoon. They spend the rest of the day helping their families with chores or playing. Until World War I, the Marsh Arabs were isolated from the outside world. The marshes remain geographically remote, but closer in other ways to the modern world. Dams have dried large portions of the marshes, but they have also brought electricity. The boats now have engines, and while the younger generation play music from their smartphones, some marsh Arabs still sing traditional songs as they navigate the waterways.